Welcome to Marker Board Videos. Today's Marker Board video is about expanding polynomials. One of the traditional ways we've done it is through a method called FOIL. If we have x plus 3 times x minus 2 and your teacher asks you to FOIL it, what they're talking about is an acronym. FOIL stands for certain words. F is first. So you're going to take the first letter from here, the first element and the first element from here, multiply it together. So x times x is x squared. Then comes O. O stands, let me write this down, first. O stands for outer. The outside of both of them, so x is an outer and minus 2 is an outer. So we're going to get minus 2x. I is inner. So what are my inner numbers? They're 3 and x. And if I multiply 3 and x, I get 3x. And L stands for last. So the last is 3 and the last is negative 2 and that gives me negative 6. So when I simplify that and put like terms together, negative 2x and positive 3x are like terms. So that becomes x minus 6. Very good, right? I have to tell you that I found a little bit easier way to do it. It's a way that works for me. If FOIL works for you, please keep using it. Do not change. However, if you struggle with FOIL and you forget a term here or there, you may want to do the matrix multiplication, um, a matrix um, polynomial multiplication. We're going to use that same problem, x plus 3, x minus 2. And let me remind you that the sign stays with the number. So the plus sign stays with the 3 and the minus sign stays with the 2. Because this parentheses has two elements, x and positive 3, and this has two elements, x and negative 2, we're going to set this up as a 2 by 2 matrix. We're going to put x plus 3, x minus 2. That's all we do. x times x is x squared. 3 times x is 3x. Negative 2 times x is negative 2x and negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. Now you can see that these two elements are common. They're like terms. We're going to write x squared plus x minus 6. How did I get that plus x? Well, if I wrote this whole thing out, let's say we're going to write every term. x squared plus 3x minus 2x minus 6. I can see that I can put these together. 3x minus 2x gives me 1x. And again, remember, there is a 1 there. It's invisible, but it's really there. So our answer is x squared plus x minus 6. That's exactly what we got from foiling. I found it this way easier. If you find foiling easier, go ahead and use foiling. Don't switch. Let's try another problem. 2x plus 1 times x minus 3. Again, I'm looking at the fact that there's two elements in here and two elements in here. So I'm setting up a 2 by 2 matrix. 2x two plus 1, x minus 3. x times 2x is 2x squared. x times 1 is x. Negative 3 times 2x is negative 6x. And negative 3 times 1 is negative 6. Most of the time when you do this, you'll find at least one area where you can put the numbers together. I have 2x squared minus 5x minus 3. My minus 5x came because I had negative 6x plus 1x. Remember, if the signs are different, you always subtract and keep the sign of the bigger number. So 6 minus 1 is 5, but 6 is bigger than 1, so I'm going to keep this sign. So here's your answer. Let's try a couple more practice problems. 4x plus 6 times 3x plus 7. Again, it's a 2 by 2 matrix. Can you do them bigger than 2 by 2? Absolutely, and we'll do the one of those next. 4x plus 6, 3x plus 7. 4 times 3 is 12, and x times x is x squared. 3x times 6, 3 times 6 is 18, but there's only one x right there. 7 times 4 is 28, and there's your x. And 7 times 6 is 42. So again, I'm looking right here and saying I can combine those two. So my answer is 12x squared. Now let's see, 18x plus 28x. Hmm, 
Uh, if I took 2 from here, this would become 16, and this would become 30, and now I can see easily that that's 46x plus 46x plus 42. And there's your answer. The last one we're going to do on this video, we're going to do a trinomial. Uh, x squared plus 3x plus 2. And we're going to combine that, multiply that by x times 1. Now I have three elements and two elements, so I want to make this three columns and two rows. x squared, 3x, 2. Let's go ahead and keep our plus signs to keep us um, so that we don't get confused. x and plus 1 x times x squared gives us x cubed. x times 3x gives us 3x squared. x times 2 gives us 2x. 1 times x squared is x squared. 1 times 3x is 3x. And 1 times 2 is 2. And in this case, you should see two things that you can put together. So our answer is x cubed plus 3x squared and 1x squared is 4x squared plus 2x and 3x is 5x plus 2. You can do 3 by 3, 4 by 4, 5 by 5, and it always works 100% of the time. I think that it streamlines thinking a little. I think that it may make things a little bit better for you, maybe a little easier.